We continue to follow developing news from the Middle East. An Iranian general who replaced the leader killed by a U.S. airstrike is vowing revenge. This comes as Iran says the country will no longer abide by any of the limits of its 2015 nuclear deal. The Trump administration is reiterating a warning to Iran any retaliation will be met with a military response. Funeral services were held for Qasem Soleimani over the weekend. While some side with the president's actions, others do not. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Carolina Cruz tells us now how demonstrators in our state are calling for America to stop sending additional troops overseas. Right, Carolina? That's absolutely right, and this comes as tensions are escalating between the U.S. and Iran. Demonstrations were held throughout the country, including the New Haven Green yesterday, and those demonstrators, they're making their message very clear. They don't want a war with Iran or any other nation. And over the weekend, the U.S. sent 3,000 troops to the Mideast as reinforcements. Meanwhile, Iraqi parliament passed a resolution calling for the government to remove U.S. troops from the country. On Face the Nation, Senator Chris Murphy once again called on the White House to specify what led to those airstrikes. He says the reason the Bush and Obama administration did not greenlight that measure is because they believed ultimately more Americans would die. The responsibility is on the administration to prove to us that by taking out the second most powerful political figure inside Iran, they are preventing more attacks rather than inspiring additional attacks. Coming up in our next half hour, we'll hear more from those demonstrators that gathered on the New Haven Green. Reporting in the newsroom, Carolina Cruz, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.